stop. Welcome back to the garage, everyone. Today's video is going to be short, but informative, I do believe. And it has to do with the brakes on your early 70s Cadillac. Let me tell you what I have found. You will note that we have a new master cylinder on the old Coupe de Ville. It works wonderfully, but it is a little hard to find and a little hard to come by and a little hard to implement. Let me tell you why. The first thing I'm going to do is show you the original 71 Cadillac shop manual, okay? Mine is in horrible condition because I use it all the time, as you know. It is very greasy and getting torn up, but that's okay. It's a shop manual. That's what it's for. Now, if you look in the shop manual, in the brake section, and you take a look at the photo of the brake master cylinder, there it is right there. You have these two chambers, and they're the same size. And if we go over to the next page, and we look at the breakdown, you see that? Same size. You come over to my car, same size. You think to yourself, why is that a huge deal? If you need a brake master cylinder for your early 70s Cadillac, chances are you are going to have a problem. It may not be huge, but if you want your car to have some originality, you may run into a stumbling block. It has to do with three things, and I wrote them down. <laughs> it has to do with the port sizes and positions. It has to do with the chamber size, and it has to do with the piston depth. Now, if you get on a website, I don't care which website you go to, Advance, O'Reilly, Rock Auto, blah, 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 doesn't matter. And you type in your 71, probably 72. I'm not sure where the cutoff year is. They may have corrected things after 74, 75, but I'm talking early 70s. And you go look up a brake master cylinder for your car. This is what you're going to find. You're going to find that it has two different size chambers on it, a bigger one and a smaller one. Now these days, a lot of the time that's correct for any given car. But for a 71 Cadillac, it's not correct. This is correct. The two chambers are supposed to be the same size. So the other factor is the ports are different as well. The port here, the one that's closest to the front of the car, is a half inch, and this one is a 9 16 So if you look on any website and say, oh, you want a master cylinder for a 71 Cadillac, here you go. Here's your Ray Bestus part number, MC36306. A AC Delco, any other is the same way. You have your secondary port is a half by 20, which is correct. Your primary port is 9 16 by 18. Your primary is always back here, right? So this is 9 16 by 18 thread. This is 1 half by, by 20 thread. On this master cylinder, the ports, the port locations, and the port sizes are correct, okay? The half inch port is toward the front of the car, and the nice 16 port is toward the rear of the car. That is correct. The problem with this guy here is these chamber sizes are incorrect, and they do not look correct for a 71. Even if you go to some place as reputable as Caddy Daddy, they will show you this master cylinder. I actually had to show the salesman at Caddy Daddy the picture in the book that has the two chambers that are the same size. Now everything about this brake master cylinder here is correct. It has the port sizes and the, and the threads and all that. And it has the proper piston depth because these cars take a, a shallow piston depth. In other words, the piston coming out of the, the brake booster needs to just terminate right there at the end, right? Because there is no, the piston down in here is not recessed. It comes all the way out to the end. This brake master cylinder that, they, that Rock Auto recommends is correct in every way except for the size of the chambers. So if you want a brake master cylinder that has the same size chambers and looks absolutely spot on original, you've got to take steps to make that happen. If you look up the brake master cylinder for the early 70s Cadillac, you cannot find all of the correct criteria 
all in one package. You've got to go hunt for it. And I found that there's a few items, there's a few parts for a 71 Cadillac that are, uh, that are like that. You've got to hunt around in other models because the, all these computer databases change, parts change, things get eliminated. How did I correct the issue? I just said, okay, just forget about the car. I want to find a brake master cylinder that has the, the same size chambers and it has one half by 20 on the front, 9 16 by 18 on the rear, and I want a shallow piston depth. Well, guess what? You can't find that. Nobody makes it, at least not that I can find. I did find this. This is a Raybestos MC36280. What does this fit? Chevys and trucks and stuff from the late 60s. Basically, if you look up 69 Camaro, this is it. What you have is a brake master cylinder with a 1 half by 20 on, on the uh, front, 9 16 by 18 right here on, on this port, and you had the two size chambers, but guess what? This has a deep piston. The piston has to go all the way down into about right there, okay, from your brake booster. So if you have a, a shaft on your brake booster that that you want to replace and you want to put a longer one in, that's fine, but I didn't have that, so I came up with yet another item that I had to purchase to make all this work. I found this Willwood Brake Master Cylinder Push Rod Spacer, part number 300-13885, 10 bucks, okay? So basically, this says it's Master Cylinder Push Rod Adapter Spacer, it's made of aluminum, it's .468 inches, uh, that's the d diameter, and then uh, 1.62 on the length. So all I did was purchase this brake master cylinder because it has the right ports on it, has the right size chambers, but it has a deep piston depth. So I bought this guy and this guy and took that and shoved it down in the piston and I installed it on the car. There was a minor problem. This is a tad bit too long for the car and I put it in there and the brakes were pretty much partially engaged all the time. Like, oh, that's not good. So I, I took it back to the house and I said, well, I've, I've got to cut this off some. So I trimmed it down, had to do it a couple of times until I got it just right. And you know, this has got a recess in the end of it, right? Where the piston from the brake booster can slip up inside there. So what I did was I basically used a drill bit of the same size. I cut it down with a hacksaw and then I put a dimple in it with a drill bit. I don't know what the end result was, but you just got to tweak it to get it just right. So anyway, the end result was a brake master cylinder that met all of the criteria I just specified. Port size and position, chamber size, and piston depth. Now I had to piecemeal it together, but it looks correct for the car. And the brakes work wonderfully on this car, just absolutely fantastic. I have no issues with the brakes whatsoever. They, they work better than, than they've worked in years and years and years. Now, the only aesthetic part of this is the cadmium or zinc plating that you might want to normally see on the cover. That's not there. Okay, fine. Uh, you could probably find one and uh, put it on there or maybe have this one coated or painted a similar color, I suppose, if you really wanted to have it spot on correct. But for the amount of money that I paid for this, which was, I don't know, it was like 30 bucks, 30 or 40 bucks, and a $10 little uh, spacer. I got, I got about 40 or 50 bucks in this, and that's it. It was a very inexpensive uh, brake master cylinder replacement, and it looks correct for the car, which is what I really wanted. And to be quite honest with you, the fact that the book says this is correct, and there were no other websites out there that had the correct one, that really just kind of stuck in my craw. <laughs> <laughs> and I just went on a hunt. That's kind of like uh, me trying to find a uh, crush sleeve for the pinion on this car. Guess what? They don't have one. You have to go make up your own stuff. So go back and take a look at the, uh, the driveline vibration video series that I made and you'll see how we, uh, we went through and made a uh, bearing spacer uh, kit for the, for, the, uh, for the pinion. So, all right folks, just a quick and dirty a uh, little discussion on brakes for an early 70s Cadillac and what you find at the parts house or any one parts uh, distribution website may not be correct for your car. You got to stick to the original stuff. The original factory service manual will tell you what is proper and or period correct for your Cadillac. All right, folks, that's all for now. I appreciate you stopping by the channel, <laughs> don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and stick around. We've got a lot more informative content on the way.